This is a story from Limerick, Ireland. Uh, my friend Cormac Russell, his family grew up in this for generations. This is one of four social housing communities. The name of it is called Ballinacora Weston. Really tough neighborhood. Huge gang problem. These are members of the gang. There have been several murders in this neighborhood, small neighborhood, several murders. <coughs> Government solution was, without consulting the residents, we're going to tear down, buy people's homes up, and then tear them down and redevelop them. So one at a time, they started buying up people's homes. They became boarded up, covered with graffiti. And what the crash of the economy in Ireland? There's been absolutely no money to follow through on the plan. So people are worse off than ever. Half the housing is boarded up. Garbage everywhere. People scared to death to come out of their homes. But at Christmas Eve, a 14-year-old girl named Maeve organized her friends. They went around house to house, Christmas carols. Incredible bravery. But it gave everybody else the courage to start coming out of their homes. And there was a vacant lot where all the drug deals were going down, where the gangs were hanging out. And the young people went out and started cleaning it up. They painted out the graffiti. They cleaned up the sidewalks and the gutters. They recruited their parents and neighbors to build planter boxes, and they planted them. And they created this wonderful mural. And they turned that problem property into what they call the Garden of Hope. And that now has become their community bumping place, the place where they're building community. And now the residents are going through one unit at a time and renovating those and starting to live back in them, rebuilding both the physical and the social infrastructure of that community. That's the power of community.